So I'm, an, um, I'm a neurosurgeon in The Hague Medical Center, and I work there as a consultant. The aim of our Young Neurosurgeons Committee is to have a, a, a committee where we make a bridge for the younger people into the organization of the EANS and to give the young people an opportunity to work and to get a better perspective in the future of the EANS. So the EANS committee is now there for seven years and we are organizing every year a meeting which is first started in London, in Innsbruck and now after a short stay in San Sebastian, Spain, we now go to Amsterdam, the Netherlands, to give uh, the seventh meeting in uh, 2017. Now, when you are starting as a resident in neurosurgery, you usually start in the, the resident courses, and then after you're finished, around your 30th or something, there is nothing else for you to get further on the ENS. So you're missing uh, the connection from, as a young resident, to get further on in the European society. And that's why the Young Committee can give us a bridge for people to, to stay and feel more at home in the EANS. Now, I think the, the Young Committee uh, meeting, which is annually, and the annual meeting of the EANS, have a good combination because, the, as you can see here, the ENS annual meeting is very big. So you have almost 2,000 participants. And there you can, uh, of course, see all the detailed information. But you are missing a little bit of the interaction with the committee members and also with the, the faculty. And if you go to the, the young neurosurgeons meeting, which is around 100, 150 participants, you have a better chance to interact with the faculty and also a better chance to, to bond or to get a social connection with the other participants. Now, I, I, th I think the, the, about the differences between the ENS annual, annual meeting and with the, the young neurosurgeons meeting is, the, is the, the fact that you, when you go to the young meeting, you are with most of your colleagues you know from the resident courses, you have the chances again to refresh your social context and you have a, a smaller setting where you have more easy access to ask your questions to the faculty members and you have a, a better opportunity to, to solve your unsolved questions. In, in the future we want to uh, start with the ENS committee for the young neurosurgeons to give uh, um, a new initiative together with the WFNS to have with their young committee. We are now starting for the second time to make a, a joint day with the World Federation uh, Young Neurosurgeons Committee. Further on we want to make a, a bridge more detailed in the resident courses so that we can get the residents when they finish their cycle to get into the Young Neurosurgeons Committee meetings. I think it's a great time for being a neurosurgeon because there are a lot of developments and um, it's a very international um, area. I think the young neurosurgeons really helps uh, to keep the contacts and to keep up with knowledge. I was at a meeting in London and I really enjoyed uh, meeting fellow colleagues from other countries and then learning about their, um, their programs, their research and how their careers develop. <laughs> Yeah, as a resident I did uh, the training courses and it was really great. Again, opportunity to talk to uh, foreign colleagues who are in the same process to exchange experiences. I still have a lot of contacts from those meetings. Yeah, I think the future for European uh, young neurosurgeons is a lot of opportunities in Europe because we have uh, a lot of um, unanswered questions and besides that we have a lot of 
uh, countries where there is uh, a low number of cases. And if we would combine all the, the cases in Europe, we can get like a stronger research chances and also a better chance to investigate um, the missing questions.